State attorney's office says the death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst. Today, the state attorney said his office will seek that penalty against the suspected Seminole Heights killer, Hal Donaldson III. Our Carson Chambers is live for us tonight in Tampa. And Carson, I understand the family's wishes weighed heavily here on his decision. Right, that's what he explained, and he also said that the families were split. We know that Anthony Naibo, his father, has always advocated for the death penalty in this case. His memorial is actually just behind us here on North 15th Street months later, and Monica's Hoffa's family say they feel the same. And there's nothing in this life that, no penalty that, that'll bring her back. Even the state's ultimate punishment. No matter what, we can't resolve the pain, you know, with, with death penalty or not. But, you know, it's again, there's consequences for actions and, and it's good that that people know that. Cousin Yudi Gutierrez says Monica Hoffa's family supports the death penalty decision and are pleased state attorney Andrew Warren, who had the final say, chose to pursue it. A prosecutor's pursuit of justice should be tempered by mercy. But some crimes are so unconscionable so hard to fathom that we must leave mercy to a higher power. Warren says the death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst, and evidence will prove how will Trey Donaldson III is just that. I understand that some in our community will agree with my decision, some will not. But the decision to seek death is not about what's popular or politically convenient. Not all the victims' families agreed. The families of Ronald Felton and Benjamin Mitchell wanted life in prison if convicted. We all have, you know, just the, the different thoughts about that and, and we respect one another. What's most important, she says, the families are supporting each other because they're all grieving the same loss. We are no one to say we're going to take somebody's life, but at the same time, you have to think about Monica was taken and other three other victims and we'll never get them back. And we are expecting Anthony Naiboa's father to meet us in within the next hour. He's been working all day. We want to get his reaction. How will Trey Donaldson's parents are expected before a judge on Friday after a civil contempt uh, case? They have refused to speak to state investigators and could be sanctioned, even sent to jail if they do not cooperate. We're live in Tampa. I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.